The engines of the Cora Railway are one of the most hard-working engines in England. They are the power behind the main line, branches, and industries all around them. This is the Cora Railway. In our previous story, Phil was the newest shunter on the Cora Railway, and he had treated its resident engines like slaves. He did his work efficiently, but his attitude on the other hand, now that was to be decided. He had left the harbour in a hurry after being confronted by Trevon and Nate. He went down to Wington where he saw Noah and a new engine. The new engine's name is Callista. You must be Phil. Nate told me about you and your behavior. Oh, did he now? What did he say? That you're a complete, incompetent idiot who doesn't know how to do his job properly. Am I correct? Phil was angry and he raced away. Callista and Noah chased after him. But then Mia's whistle could be heard. Is that Mia? Phil, you need to stop! But it was too late. Phil couldn't stop in time. Ah, uh, Mia. What in the world? Mia, look out! And crashed into Mia's front. Oh, goodness. What have I done? Workshop, Phil. You crashed in front of Mia. Is she okay? I'm fine, Phil. But next time, watch out. Just be careful. And I've heard about your behavior to Nate and the other engines. I'm ashamed of you. Why should you be ashamed of me? I'm a very good engine who does a great job at what I do. There must be something wrong with you because you are not a good engine, Phil. Nowhere near it. You truly believe that you are a good engine? That's not true! How you treated the other engines was horrible! What would have happened if you never got here? What would have happened if you stay on your old railway? What would have happened if it closed? What would have happened next? Just think about that while you're here! Callista blew her whistle and puffed away to do her work. Meanwhile, Phil just sat in the workshop, alone and isolated. He pondered about what Callista had said to him, and he thought about it, and he then realized he had been so horrid to the other engines. When his repairs were finished, he left for South Hall. When he arrived, Riley and Atlas were there. Hello, you two. Um, I just wanted to say, uh, sorry for how I treated you on my first day. It was out of line for me to do. Uh, I'm sorry. Phil, thank you. We all appreciate that. Now, if you don't mind, would you mind shutting our trains? We don't want to run late. Of course I can. Phil worked hard in the yards, shunting and organizing the coaches and trucks for the other engines. He felt happy about himself, but there were other engines he needed to apologize to. Phil had organized all of the engines' trains, and he smiled at them, and then left for the harbor where Trevon and Nate were chatting. Nate, did you hear about Phil, by chance? You mean his crash with Mia? Yeah, I think he's coming down here. Well... 
Bill then arrived at Wington Harbour. Nate didn't look up. Hey Nate, I'm here to apologize to you. I'm sorry I was rude to you. I'm very stubborn and didn't listen to you or your advice. You are very wise. Ah, oh, thank you, Phil. I'm glad you're doing good. Now, Trevin, do you need help with harbor shunting? Only if you want to help me. Phil and Nate looked at each other and smiled happily. Of course we can. We love to help. Adrut, Alonzi. Trevon directed the duo on what to do. They both spent several hours shunting and rearranging trucks, vans, and wagons with Trevon. The two tank engines were happy to help Trevon, and Nate smiled at Phil, who smiled back. Nate was glad that Phil was here to help on the Cora Railway.